Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you are watching my videos and thanks for watching and please share with these videos with the maximum people who can make use of it. We shall continue the part of the plant breeding that is the self incompatibility in further classes. We shall also deal with the male sterility concepts also. So let's enter to the topic and before starting I would request you to please follow me on my Instagram page time to be intellectual Facebook time to be intellectual and subscribe to my YouTube channel Manav Patikin. And thank you and let's continue. Self incompatibility. In previous classes I have said what the self incompatibility definition is. That is the pollen grains fail to fertilize the flower of the same flower or of the same plant. Then we call them as self incompatibility and it is the definition of self incompatibility. Let's see what happens and in, let's study in detail in this class. So when a pollen grain is transferred onto the stigma, let's think this is a pollen grain, it is transferred onto the stigma. When it reaches the surface of the stigma, it fails to germinate or in some cases it germinates on the stigma but fails to enter the stigma. Sometimes it, it enters the stigma but the growth is very slow so that the it does not affect the fertilization itself sometimes it affects the fertilization and fertilization takes place and the embryos will degenerate in an early stage these are the possible cases of uh, self incompatibility we may see just the mechanism but sometimes in many cases or in any ways it may fail maybe i said in the initial uh, germination also it can fail or it fail to enter the stigma or it may fail to fertilize the egg cell or it may fail to develop an embryo. So these are the possibilities based on this and based on the idea of self incompatibility there is a person with the name Levis in 1954 what he did? He classified them into various systems. Let's see one by one that is heteromorphic system. Heteromorphic system how, morphology, how morphologically they are different and in our same morphology what happens, how the possibilities are there and among them uh, gametophytic, sporophytic control, there are some types and uh, we study these mechanisms in detail. So let's start with a heteromorphic system. Okay friends, let's continue to the topic that is the first one heteromorphic system. Let's see the definition of heteromorphic system. See in the name itself we think hetero means different. Morphology, difference in morphology of these uh, flowers. Flowers of different incompatibility groups are different in morphology. See friends, think these two are different morphologically different flowers and this is incompatibility to itself, it is incompatibility to itself. Then we say this is one group and this is one group and these two are it separate individual self incompatibility groups but compatible to each other but incompatible within them. So that's how we define this and to explain this concept we take the primula flowers. It is the best flower for the explaining the heteromorphic system and wherever we go this is the only example it's taken to explain heteromorphic system and you can easily understand that. Yes, in the primula flowers we see two different, I said two different morphological different right. So the morphological different flowers are pin flowers and thrum flowers these are the two incompatible groups but actually compatible to each other we shall see uh, later how the compatibility depends and i will try to explain how these flowers are morphologically look like see in the pin flowers there is a long style the style is very long and the stamens are short and they are not equal and it depends and in the thrum flowers the style is short and the stamens are long. This is the morphology of thrum flowers. And now we shall see how the incompatibility of them depends. As dear friends, now let's continue the how compatibility depends on the on these two morphological flowers. So let's see the character is governed by a single gene that is gene S. 
जीन एस इज द जीन दट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द गवर्निंग द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द सेल्फ इनकम्पैटेबिलिटी इन दिस मोफोजिकल फ्लावर्स एंड इन थ्रम फ्लावर्स आई एक्सप्लेन जस्ट नाउ हाउ द मोफोलॉजी ऑफ द थ्रम फ्लावर्स डिपेंड्स एंड सी हियर दिस इज हेट्रोजाइगोट हेट्रोजाइगोट इन नेचर द थ्रम फ्लावर्स एंड फिनोटिपिकल मीन्स इट लुक लाइक अ डोमिनेंट वन इट सेल्फ और द कैरेक्टर वॉट वी आर सींग इट इज ए डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर एंड फिनोटिपिकली इट लुक लाइक अ डोमिनेंट जीन एस एंड जीनोटिपिकली इट हैज अ टू कैरेक्टर दैट इज एस जीन एंड स्मॉल एस जीन कैपिटल एस जीन एंड स्मॉल डोमिनेंट वन एंड रिसेसिव वन दीज आर टू जीन्स प्रेजेंट एंड द गैमेट्स ऑल्सो गैमेट्स फॉर्म आर ऑल्सो ऑफ टू डिफरेंट जीन्स दैट इज एस एंड एस कैपिटल एस डोमिनेंट एंड स्मॉल एस रिसेसिव नेक्स्ट कम्स द पिंक फ्लावर्स pin flowers is recessive in nature and what the character of pin flower is it is a recessive character and phenotypically it is recessive itself smallest and genotypically it's also recessive smallest so we have seen how the genotype and the gene governing is controlled so now to see how the incompatibility and compatibilities depend see in these flowers the morphologically different or compatible to each other that's what we have explained here see a mating means uh, crossing between these uh, which are the flowers if a pink flower and pink flower is crossed then recessive cross with a recessive and the system is incompatibility that is what i said within the single morphology flowers it is self incompatible to itself and that's what happened here see smallest recessive cross with the recessive is a incompatible see same thing happens here thrum or dominant that is heterozygote uh, thrum heterozygote heterozygote cross with the heterozygotes again it is incompatible and these are two incompatible groups okay i said they are compatible to each other same thing see pin flowers a recessive one is cross with the thrum flowers a heterozygote one then the resulting is a heterozygote that is the s a uh, capital s monus and a recessive one and one thrum flower and one pin flower is resulted from this cross and same thing from the cross with the thrum cross with the pin capital s monus recessive and uh, one recessive one heterozygote and one thrum one pin flower these are how the mating is done and how progeny is depend i already said that these are two incompatible groups and they are incompatible within them uh, but compatible to each other that's what this okay i will end this class now in the next class we shall continue with the continuation of this that is the homomorphic system and uh, further the mechanisms and all thanks for watching this video and please click on the bell icon to get notified when the next video is arriving and hope i will meet you soon thank you